Hola, buenos días. Hoy día vamos a trabajar con los pronombres personales o our subject pronouns. This is one of the first things we need to learn as we're beginning to put sentences together. It's it's very common for students to get confused on this and there are times where at the end of the semester students still don't understand this concept and their grades are never any better than a D because you have to be able to understand these this these personal pronouns or subject pronouns in order to create sentences so the first one is yo yo means I so anytime you're talking about yourself you say yo 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 soy uh, importante I am important yo soy optimista mista. I am optimistic so yo means I Tú means you, you informal. So whenever you're going to use, the way I think of it is when you speak to somebody using their first name like Juan or Maria, then we use the tú form with them. Generally when you talk with your family members, which including your, your parents, we use the to form. When you're talking to your uh, friends, we use the to form. Anybody that you know well, that you're very familiar with, we use the to form. Usted means you, but it's a you formal. So with your boss or your um, teacher, the president, or anybody that you want to show respect to that you would say sir or Mr. Gonzalez or Mr. Jimenez. Whenever you have a Mr. or a Mrs. in front of their their name, that's when we know we're going to use the usted form. We also have an el. El means he. So when you're talking about something, somebody you say, he is happy. El, he is an optimist. El es optimista. El está feliz. He is happy. So el means he. Ella. Ella means she. So you're talking about her. Ella es bonita. She is pretty. Ella es optimista. She is an optimist. Then, so all of these up here, the yo, the tu, the usted, the el, and ella, those are all singular. Now notice these on this side are going to be plural. Anything down here now will be plural. So we have um, nosotros. Nosotros means we. Actually, I almost always forget this. Nosotras. Nosotros, if it's the we, everybody in your group is feminine. So if you say nosotras, estamos aquí, we are all here, nosotras means everybody in that group is female. So guys will never say nosotros, guys will always say nosotros. That's why sometimes I forget it. But ladies, you'll, you'll need to remember that when you're in a group of all female, you will say nosotras, we. So we say nosotros estamos aquí, we are here. Then there's a form uh, vosotros or vosotras, which means y'all. 
This is a form that is used, spoken only in Spain. Other countries, they do not use the vosotros form, only in Spain. But when you go to Spain, I can guarantee you that they will use the vosotros or the vosotras form with you. Vosotras and vosotros is very informal. So when you're in a group of people that you know very well, we'll use the vosotros form. So you'll say something like, vo ay, ay, ay. vosotros estáis bien. Y'all are doing well. Then there's the form ustedes. Ustedes is formal. So if we're in Spain and we're talking about talking to somebody like Mr. Jimenez and Mrs. Rodriguez, we're going to use the formal form ustedes. But now the tricky part is the vosotros and the vosotras form are not used in other countries. They're not used in Mexico. They're not used in Chile. They're not used in other places, spoken anyway. And so in other countries, the ustedes form will be formal and informal. So it really would encompass all of them. And then if we're not in Spain, then the vosotros form, vosotras form, we don't even use. So you know, when we go to Mexico, we're going to say, Ustedes están aquí. You guys are here. And that could be either, that really is formal and informal. Of course, remember, Spain is our vosotros and our vosotras. I think that's the actual the tricky ones. Um, just remember, if you're in Spain, you will definitely use the vosotros and the vosotros vosotras in an informal situation but everywhere else informal and formal plural is going to be our ustedes bueno hopefully that helps out a little bit and we'll talk to you later ciao